Uh, it's just finished raining. I think we're going to get all seasons in one day today. Um, I'd like to thank Jason at Quarter Hoarder for giving me a good shout out. Um, thanks very much. Didn't have to do that. I was quite happy to uh, send you the coins. I'm a fan of your channel and um, I couldn't think of anybody better to send them to. I'm glad you got them anyway. Um, uh, just walking down to the field that I want to detect and I just had a little swing in this one. Usually it's full of sheep and usually full of cow tubes. Just dug one cow tube. But the uh, second signal is quite interesting. Got a 78 um, on the AT Pro. Out with the AT Pro and the Ace 250. Um, but I'll turn around and, and show you what's uh, what I found in the uh, in the second hull. So just down in there, if you can see. Hopefully we can. Uh, have a look, see what it is. There it came up as a 78. On the AT Pro. And I have no idea. Alright, let me give that, give that clean off and uh, we'll have a look. Alright, well, it appears to be uh, half of a locket. There was a broken bit of glass that came out from the inside. It was quite interesting. Hopefully you might be able to get some more detail off it a bit later on, show you in the roundup. I'll show you a little bit more of the uh, of the permission that we're on today. Um, it's it's not huge, but uh, if I pan the camera around, we've got a river there behind me. I don't know if you can hear it. He's out digging up cow tubes. I'll just turn the camera around and show you over there. Show you how close we are to a, a really large manor house. And just see the top of it. Manor house is just the other side of those trees. And if I zoom in, so that's how close we are. This is a. Uh, Pretty big field. The building over there used to be stables. What we've been finding uh, lots of old coins up around there. There used to be an old footpath that's now uh, a private house, which is really nice. We've got some nice animals where we are. There she is, trying to get stung by the electric fence and digging up cow tubes. I can't get that close to it because it just sends my machine haywire. But let her crack on, she'll learn. Yeah, cow tube. Is it a cow tube? Is it electric fence? Cow tube, electric fence. Right. She'll dig it up, she'll find out. Right, well, the other ass walking towards me, she's got a rather smug look on her face, so uh, no doubt she's found something. Ooh, maybe it's a bigger cow tube than the last lot. What is it? Don't know, still in the mud, probably a hand grenade. I'll break it open, let's have a look. of some description. Well, it's about kind of put it in the light there. It's about half penny size. Well not bad first coin of the day. See if we can clean that one up and uh, get something off it a bit later. 
Right, I've come across into the uh, into the big field, worked my way across from that one. Uh, half decent signal. Looks like I got my first coin today. It's just starting to rain. It uh, can't make its mind up today, but let's have a look in the hole. There you are, just down in there. Let's dig him out. Looks like a George Penny. Nice condition. Trying to get a year off it. Well, the years were years worn quite smooth there. Looking in the wrong place. Oh, there we go. Hang on. I was trying to shout at the camera because it's uh, it's raining. Looks about 1920. Really nice condition. Ideal. See you at the next. We're back on our 40 acre permission today and uh, I'm in the bigger field. It's not easy going, everything's kind of spread out so it's a case of just wandering and see if you can find a, a cool spot. I uh, just want to say thank you to all the people that have subscribed lately in the last few days and I've, uh, I've now managed to get me into double, triple figures. I'm now over 100 subscribers which is amazing, I, I never expected to, to get anywhere near that. Um, I've had some really nice comments and I'd like to say hello to Sam in Australia, Dee Dee, I think she's in Oregon, uh, Big Moose, he's in America, um, Luther, uh, so many, um, hopefully I can, I'll have a look later and see if I can remember a few more names, but lots of nice people, Jacob at Chaos Paddlers, um, really nice guy, have all left really nice comments, uh, thank you for subscribing and, and leaving nice comments. Uh, check out Chaos Paddler's um, YouTube channel. The guy's crazy. One minute he's diving off of waterfalls in a kayak. Uh, next minute he's out metal detecting and really interesting. The guy's pretty crazy. But it's, uh, it's worth a look. Worth a look. Um, go and check him out. Right, well I wasn't going to dig it, but I did anyway. And uh, as you can see, it is a coin of some sort, but it's so, uh, this thing's so toasted, I don't think I'm going to get anything off it. It's, uh, it's pretty crud. I'll have to, um, it is pretty toasted. I'll uh, try and clean it up a bit later on and see if we can get anything in the roundup, but here next to the hole, that's as, uh, that's as good as I'm going to get. Uh, also like to say hello and a big shout out to Derek Naylor. Check out his channel which is Derek Naylor uh, Metal Detecting. Um, really nice guy. Lots of nice uh, digs. He's, uh, he's giving away a lot of silver coins at the moment in a competition for 500 subscribers. So subscribe, like, leave a comment. And you'll be in with a chance of winning, I think one of them's a silver hammered coin, an old Victorian three, three pence, um, and a couple of other silver coins, but uh, it's a nice little collection for anyone. Uh, I'd like to say hello to Max, Max Tringle. Check out his channel, which is Max Depth. Uh, nice guy, he, he's up in North Devon. Some great, uh, some great digs. Nice guy, check him out. Uh, Hello to Dean, He's, uh, his channel is the, check him out, he's called Shilling King. So Shilling as like the old English Shilling coin and King. Um, nice guy, uh, I think he's over in East Devon somewhere. Lots of nice digs, uh, scooter enthusiasts, so if you're into old scooters and stuff and rallies, and check him out as well. Just had a nice 83 signal and dug the plug the plug. Just had a nice 83 signal, lifted the plug, it's in the plug somewhere, I'll turn around do try and do a live dig. Fingers crossed it's something good, probably a bottle cap, but let's have a look. Uh, 
Right, there we are, out of the AT Pro again today. Nice machine. Uh, it's in there somewhere. Let's get the pinpoint to it. So, right, let's get me stabber, me stabbing implement out. Hopefully it's something good. No more luck. It's a bit of junk. Oh, look at that! Nice bit of junk. Let's have a little look. What is that? What is that? Is like that is either the biggest ring pole in the entire world. Oh my God! What the hell? That, that's ridiculous. What the? Looks like a ring pole. Well, if any of you know what it is, I think it's the biggest ring pole in the world. It could be something else. That's crazy. Next hole, well, as you can see, Big chunky horseshoe. Those things never bring me any luck. If they did, I'd be laughing. Anyway, let's carry on. Right, well, quick roundup, and we've got a 1920 George V penny, we've got an 1861 Queen Victoria half penny. We got what? Appears to be a George the Third. Uh, might be a half penny. Might be something else. But you can see the uh, the bust fading that way. We got two totally roached coins. We've got the remains of a a brooch with a pattern on it. Nice uh, pewter button. We've got a silver locket. I can see there. There are some hallmarks in there. And that's the glass. That would have been on the front of it, so it probably might have had a, a photograph or something inside. We've got an old key. And we got the, uh, the world's largest ring pole. So if anybody knows what that large ring pole like thing could be do let me know